In a time where high school athletes are specializing in only one sport, Omar Figueroa, a senior at West Loco East High School, answers the bell to many different things, including sports. He is an excellent student, and he is also an actor on the side. With swimming, baseball, boxing, the movie, or school, which includes art and all those AP classes. How did someone so young get involved in so much? Well, his passion is baseball. He's been in boxing on and off since he was a kid because his dad wanted him to fight for self-defense. And swimming came along just to replace running. I hate running for boxing, but I have to run. So I was like, well, maybe if I join swimming, I don't have to run. So I actually joined swimming just for the workout, but my, might as well compete once I'm in there. So I've been competing for swimming since my freshman year. This is me, Miguel, Miguel Perez. I've been working the fields ever since I can remember. How can you forget the sun, the pain, and even the movie was not high on his priority list, but he gave it a shot just for fun. I am very shy and I don't like to be in front of crowds. I get all, I don't know, and just the way I am right now. But um, my, I, was, I was at work and my boss told me he saw this article on the, in the newspaper and he, he told me about it. He was like, maybe you should go audition, you know, try something new. I'm like, oh, it's because I'm not, I'm not that type of person to go out and like audition for something like that. Plus, I'm not even an actor. I've never acted before. I've never been in front of people. Well, in boxing, I'm, you know, the main attraction when I'm pitching, but I, I don't know. And I, I went and I auditioned. And I didn't think I did very good, but the guy said I fit the part perfectly, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, just call me the champ. Just call me the champ. Well, look at it this way. At least you're not just a pretty face anymore. Call him Mr. Everything, so versatile and talented that everything Omar touches turns to gold. Take swimming, for example, a sport for Omar to better his conditioning. But it turns out he did more than just get in shape. Omar is just an excellent athlete. He, he was our swimmer MVP, our male MVP last year and he's our team captain this year. He's broken our 50 freestyle record, our 100 freestyle record, our 100 fly record. He is with the boys relay team, 200 freestyle relay team, 200 medley relay team. He's, his wow. name is in all of it. And in baseball, Omar has been just as successful. Newcomer of the year, team MVP the last two seasons, all-district shortstop and all-district pitcher for West Laco East. And he still has one season left to play this year. Miguel. And that movie talked Miguel. about earlier? Well, Omar the is the star of the movie. film. I'm the, the lead role. I am Miguel. The, the, I'm playing his character. It's sort of an um, autobiography. And I'm just playing his character. I am a migrant. I'm trying to get out of uh, the life I'm in, which is, you know, poverty and not enough food, eating beans all the time. I'm just trying to make it better for me and my family. And of everything Omar does, boxing is what he concentrates on the least. But that is where he recently had the most success. We're not talking about winning a district title or being the Valley best. We're talking a higher level here. For years, Omar has been boxing, just like these little ones. He grew up boxing and training, working on his quickness and on his footwork. He never won any titles, but this past year, his dad decided he should take a shot at a Golden Gloves title because this is the year that the National Golden Gloves champion 
automatically qualifies for the Olympic trials. First, you have to win a regional title. The tournament was held last spring in Brownsville. He only had one fight for the Golden Glove champion of South Texas. It came against an older, more mature boxer from Mission. His opponent was 22. Omar is only 17. After one round of trading punches, Omar came out in the second round. With a flurry of punches to the head and body, he took out his opponent. With that, he was the Golden Gloves champion for South Texas and headed for the state Golden Gloves. He would go to Fort Worth where he was fighting against more polished fighters. His dad wasn't sure if his son was ready. Uh, I was kind of nervous because he hadn't been boxing for about three years. He didn't want to box because he wanted to get into baseball and swimming. So that, that, this, uh, the one in Brownsville was his first fight after three years. So I was kind of nervous going out there because you're going to get competition, uh, good competition over there. His first fight, he met James Cantu from San Antonio. I mean, that guy, is a, he's a knockout. I mean, he's, he's a real good boxer. And um, I saw him in a, in a best tournament, and I saw that kid box, and he, he fought three times. The three times he won by knockout. And I said, oh, man, I hope one day my kid can box as good as him or better. It was a fight that went the distance. Both fighters going at it, landing and scoring punches. No knockdowns, just lots of scoring. In the end, Omar's quickness and speed won over strength and power. He would head for the semifinals. He went against a guy from Houston, a 25-year-old, and uh, hey man, that, that guy was kind of like strong, and, and I mean, he was like seven years older than him, and my nerves started again. and. Uh, but I had confidence in Omar that he, he moves pretty good in the ring. The 25-year-old fighter was very aggressive in the ring. Omar went to work early in the round, moving to stay away from any power punches. The guy was physical, but Omar was smarter and quicker. In the second round, Omar's opponent felt he was behind. So he went in to score some points. It was a big mistake. Omar made him pay. It was the knockout of the tournament, and Omar was headed to the finals. He met a kid from Dallas who was six feet tall, and he was a left-hander. He had never fought a left-hander, and he, had, he gave him problems, but Omar, I mean, he was just thinking him that he wanted to be a state champion. And you know, he wanted to put Westlaco in, in the map, that he's from Westlaco, and, and uh, he, he went for it. The taller, lankier fighter gave Omar some problems for the first two rounds. His opponent was a little flashy. Omar was more your blue-collar type, hard-nosed fighter. And Omar stayed in the fight by scoring some serious body blows and wearing down his opponent. By the final round, Omar's opponent was tired. And perhaps, because Omar's in better shape, he outlasted the other guy. It was up to the judges and they gave it to Omar. Out of the red corner, he was crowned the Texas Golden Gloves champion. He won a title after only training for a few months. He was the youngest state champion at the tournament. He got a state championship ring. He went on to nationals, but he was out after the first fight. Up next for Omar, maybe a professional career at boxing. But who really knows what Omar will be doing in the future? Baseball, swimming, acting, boxing, whatever it is, knowing Omar 
he will be a success. Omar has done it again. He just won more medals. At the recently held 32-4A swimming meet, Omar placed second in the 50-yard freestyle, setting a new school record. And he also placed second in the 100-yard freestyle. There, he set a new school record also. And his medley relay team finished third. Now let's get to know Omar a little bit more. His favorite color is purple and black for Westlaco East. After graduation, he would like to go to the University of Texas, and he would love to play college baseball there. He wants to be an architect or a professional baseball player after college. His favorite baseball team is the Red Sox. His favorite player is David Ortiz. In addition to sports, Omar is also an artist. Here's a look at some of his work. And if he could have any car, it would be an Escalade pearl in color, and the first thing he would do is give it to his mom. Now let's take a look at sports from La Palma, the year 1939-1940. The football team was 5-5. Five five. 